Hey guys, welcome back and welcome in if you are new. Okay, so jumping off from where we left off. So I did not change anything on my face except for the eyeliner and the lipstick. Now again, like I said, I didn't have anything brown to go with this orange shadow, but I am still just playing around with the color, but I wanted to show you the green Dior eyeliner. So to me, it really doesn't do much. I don't know if that will help you, but it really doesn't do much. It just looks kind of dark to me, and I even put it on top of that white eyeliner that I had. I was hoping it would kind of make it pop a little more, but it still just looks almost black to me. So I don't really know if it's worth it. Um, maybe if, it, if, a, if you have a different color eye or something like that, it might make a difference. Or maybe if you wear it thicker. Um, I did notice with me having gray eyes, it does kind of switch. My eyes always look different depending on what I wear. And so I do think that this liner might make my eyes look a little more green than gray. But uh, that's just kind of up for debate. So um, yeah, I don't know. I, I do have it. I don't know if this is honestly something that I would keep. You guys know I don't like to return because it just gets thrown in the garbage. But I just don't see this being something that I reach for. If this is something that you like, though, this is number 386. It's called Pearly Emerald. Um, lovely product. Let me show you the brush. It's a nice, fine brush. And you guys know I'm not great with makeup. So this actually uh, did a great job. Beautiful line. I can't complain with that at all. It's literally just the color that I don't think works for me. The next item that I changed up was my lipstick. So I went for something that was, as you can see, I love glossy. Um, this to me is a little more like half matte, half satin. Uh, but this is the Prada. Now it should have a different lid. If you've been here a while, Oh, you know what? I said Prada. This is Gucci. Um, so if you've been here a while, you know that I literally bought a lipstick. This lipstick for the case. It's a floral pattern case. And this lid came on my lip balm, but I wanted my lip balm to have the floral pattern. So I bought this lipstick just for the case. However, I figured I might as well use it. And so I went ahead and I switched my lipstick to this color. Now this is a color... 213 it's called love is better and this is by gucci so those are the only two changes that i made just the eyeliner and the lipstick but i think this is a gorgeous color lipstick let's get into it i still have one two three four four Dior unboxings. So we're either going to do one or two. We'll see how long it takes, but let's get into the first one. Now, if you recall from the last video, these have been stacking up for a couple weeks. I have no idea what's in them, so it'll be a surprise to both of us. So again, did not score that Mother's Day packaging, but I did get the Mother's Day ribbon. And if you are new to Dior, all of your receipts will come in this kind of cute little envelope. And then it is just your packing list, making sure it does not have my address. Okay, so this is just your packing list of everything that should come in here. And this looks like a lot of stuff. Okay, let's open it and find out. All right, as always, they do such a beautiful job on the packaging. Oh, I can already see this one is going to have one of the blue pouches in it. Okay, let's see if I wrote anything on the card. Oh, yes. Not that they watch, but please, Dior sponsor my videos. <laughs> it's time. It is time. I've been promoting for Dior for about a year and a half now. So come on, Dior. Show a gal some love. I ask in every video. And if you have a contact at Dior, please send them my name. All right. So we have the cute a little pouch. Let's see what samples came in this one. Oh, there's like four samples in here, I think. Okay, so we have a little sample of the Hyla shot. Now, I'm like hit or miss on this Hyla shot. I don't know. I get the appeal, but I have it. I didn't love it. Um, yeah, I had a second bottle. I think I actually sold that in one of the um, mystery bundle sales. I don't know. I just, I don't see the results that everybody else is seeing. So for me, it's not worth the money. I don't know. Lay Balm sample. Now you guys know I love this. So good. This is a Dior Riviera miniature, and I never open these, or I think I shouldn't open them because you guys know what they are, but I do know that some of you are new. So let me show you. It is just the cute a little miniature spray bottle, so you can try it out for yourself. 
And I always give these away. So they're usually um, either in a giveaway or I'll just send them to random viewers. Or if I do one in my fun mystery box sales, I always pop those in there as well. And then you guys know my very favorite blooming bouquet. I just love these little bottles too. I drop something on in every video. It's, it's a given. Look at how cute that is. Oh, there's another miniature in here. So this one is, oh, the Miss Dior EDP. Man, lots of goodies. The Dior Show Maximizer 4D. What is this? Four actions for oversized lashes. So is this just the regular? Yeah, it's just a lash primer, just in a different packaging. I thought it was new. It's just the lash primer. All right, let's see if there's anything. Okay, I don't think there's anything in the pouch. Such a pretty pouch. I love the star on the side. Let's double check, but I don't think there's anything in here but filler. Nope, just filler. And more filler. Now I think... I know I'm up to two. Might have I I think there's three total. I think I've only unboxed two with you. So I will have three of these at one point. So two of these will go either up for sale or in a giveaway. Alrighty, let's get into what I bought. So it looks like I bought three items in this order. So let's go through those. Alright, first one. Oh yeah, so I've been wanting to try this. So this is a lip tint. I have never gotten these. I always go for the maximizer because you guys know I love a good glossy lip. Um, but this is the lip tint. So I'm actually really excited to see what this is going to look like. This is in the color uh, 351 Natural Nude. That's a weird uh, choice for me. I'm not sure why. Oh my goodness, it's quite pink. Ooh, okay, so maybe I really just liked the picture on the website, but look at that. That is really pretty. That's definitely not a nude. It's a pink for sure. Ooh, I cannot wait to try that. I think this is a new... Oh no, this one's called Pastel Mint. Okay, so the reason I got this polish uh, is because I wanted the Chanel version in this color. Ooh, I like this one better, but I couldn't get it through Chanel or through the local Chanel counter. Um, and I wanted a green for summer, but I actually like this one better. Look at how pretty that is. That is such a pretty color. Oh yeah, I'm loving that. Oh, I cannot wait. Very nice. So again, that is uh, 203 Pastel Mint. And I don't know if you guys caught the YouTube short that I did a while back. It's probably been, I don't know, three weeks ago, maybe. Anyway, I did kind of a little non-scientific study. I did half my nails in Chanel and half my nails in Dior because the one time I had worn Dior, they chipped in just a couple days. And then I had worn Chanel and it lasted a long time. So I thought I wanted to put them head to head to see which one lasted longer. Believe it or not, they both chipped on the same day. So it was 50-50, but I do think that that polish lasted like five or six days that time. So that was really good. All right, and the last thing I got is the Star Filter. Now I got this in the color three. Um, I was thinking more for summer and, um, and maybe even just trying this as something like maybe a replacement for the foundation to see how well that's going to sit on my skin. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know how it works, but I did get number three as we are coming into summer and believe it or not, this pasty gal does tan pretty well. I just try not to. Uh, so this should be good for midsummer for me. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Where are we at? Oh gosh. I think, should we do one more? What do you think? Let's do it. Okay. So I just realized we're going to do this one next. However, I now have to unload everything that is set up there. So I'll be with you in just one moment. Okay, let me give you the little rundown on this. So if you know this size box, then you know what it is. However, I managed to get another one. 
let me give you the story behind it. So I was trying to let my account go back to gold because I wanted to get the gold gift. And so I was trying my darndest. I wasn't buying anything on this account. You guys know I have a couple accounts, one for YouTube, one for personal. So I was letting this account go back to gold because I wanted to hit that gold level, see what the gift was because I had already gotten platinum. However, the thing that Dior doesn't tell you is when you spend so much money, like I did in 2023, we've already talked about that. Um, when you spend that amount of money, this account had actually rolled over twice. So I hit platinum twice in one year. If you know how the rewards goes, then you know the money that I put into that account. We shall not get into it. But this account rolled over twice. I didn't think that made a difference. I figured it was like one year span. It doesn't matter what you spend over that amount. You're still platinum. You don't get anything extra. So in my attempt to let it roll back to gold, I got an email from Dior a couple days before it rolled over that said, congratulations, you've stayed platinum. And I was like, dang it. I mean, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. This is an awesome gift. However, it didn't get me any closer to that gold gift. So uh, because I had spent so much last year, so just kind of note to self, I know that a lot of people ask how the rewards program works. I can guarantee you that if you have spent twice that platinum amount in one year, you will roll over to platinum the next year. That's what happened to me. That's how I got this second platinum gift. So let me show it to you. I'm sure you've seen it, but they're so fun. This one, I don't need, I will not keep. So this will go to somebody at some point, somehow, I don't know how. I don't know if I should keep it till we hit the 5,000 subscriber mark and give it to one of you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Um, but that was kind of just a thought that I had. I can always put this up on my website. Um, so let me know what you guys think. But I think that 5,000 mark would be pretty cool. And I'm happy to give this away to one of you. All right. So the beautiful around the world pattern in the straw bag. Look at how big this bag is. It's so big. It's so beautiful. And then it does actually, it's a pretty good size bag. So it flares out that much at the bottom. So this is such a lovely everyday use bag. And I love the pattern. And then, oh, I didn't even show you what it looks like when you get it. So this is what it looks like. So you've got the bag on this side, paperwork. And then you get the awesome, awesome Olay Balm, which I love. And then this is the lip balm which you guys know is not my favorite, um, but I have definitely gone through, I think, every color. Um, so I have a couple of these now. Uh, another one from the Platinum Gift that I will not keep, so that'll end up going up for somebody as well, but I think I wanna keep this as, I'm just struggling to get this balm out, but I think I wanna keep this as a full set and do this as a giveaway. So again, let me know your thoughts on that. So let me show you. This is the uh, Lip Glow Color Revive Balm, and I believe it's in color 100. Yes. So I am going to twist it. However, this will not be used. You will get it brand new. There you have it. So I do wish I liked this product better. I know a lot of you do love it. It just doesn't work well for my lips. All right. One more show. So there we have it. That is the Dior platinum gift and again I got this because I spent far too much money last year and stayed platinum for the second year in a row I will let you know I have another account so when that one falls back to gold I will let you guys know and I will show you the gold gift if and when I get it. all right so there we have it beautiful platinum gift we did that other unboxing that's all I have for you right now I think next time I come back to you it's going to be with a clean face and um, something I'm more comfortable in. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. As always, thank you for being here. You guys have a great day, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.